and welcome to the second video in the Tag Along Tarot series. This is the Magician and the Manifester. So the Magician represents manifestation. To do this, it requires a lot of resourcefulness. The Magician card reminds us to use all the tools available to us. This is often depicted with the elements and what they represent. Think of the witch's pyramid or the traditional meanings of the pentacle. Our inner power is unlimited. This card reminds us that our ideas and actions can manifest whatever we desire. The magician is the connection between the spiritual and the mundane. This can represent the need to have a balance between these two areas of our lives and to utilize it towards our goals. The magician tells us that it is the perfect time to pursue an idea you've been mulling over. Let the seed of intention bloom with care from both the spiritual and the mundane. It's time to turn these ideas into reality. Something to watch out for when the magician appears in a reading is manipulation. There is great power to be used, but it can easily be directed towards harmful intentions. It can also remind us that we may not be planning correctly. Things could be getting missed or overlooked. Commitments are broken. The magician is all about the power of self. Using your skills and logic, you are able to manifest your intentions specifically towards a new goal. However, this card can also remind us that having power over ourselves is not as easy as we would like. Having clear focus, confidence, utilizing all the energy and tools around is not an easy feat. If you are hesitating or constantly flaking towards a goal or in general, the Magician card can remind you that you have the power to determine which path or choice is correct for you. And the crystals for this card are Tiger's Eye, Mental Focus, Resolve Problems Objectively, Not Emotionally, Helpful for for fear and anxiety, helpful for self-confidence and purpose. Sodalite, logic stone, reminder of our connection to the cosmos, clears mind, strengthens self-discipline, brings an honest evaluation of your motives, strengths, and weaknesses. Hematite, strength, practical thinking, grounded, improving skills, and improved focus. So for the magician, I picked Mary Poppins, and it might sound a little weird for the magician, but to me, it made the most sense. So she stands between a balance, in my mind at least, of the mundane of actually being a nanny, taking care of children. But then she also has the magical worked right in there. Make sure you clean your room. She uses magic to help with that. So to me, she's very grounded in both the magical and the mundane. She also represents this concept of a new idea and a new project because each house and each set of kids is going to be a new goal that she's going to work towards solving. And then when the time comes, she knows when to leave and go towards a new goal, basically. So that is why I picked Mary Poppins. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this second edition of the Tag Along Tarot series. Let me know your thoughts down below on The Magician. What have you had in experiences with this card? Do you have other things that tend to come up? What is the archetype or fictional character or whatnot? that you associate with the magician. And when I do say archetypes, you could also include that the cards themselves are archetypes, but when you're trying to learn them, it would make sense to have one that you already know to connect it. So hopefully that makes sense. I didn't really explain it in the first week, but hopefully it makes sense now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the magician down below and until Wednesday, thank you for watching and blessed be.